Good morning, family. I am coming to you on a random day of the week. This is not a Sunday, fun day, sacred day video. Today it's Wednesday, May 26th, and it's my birthday, family. And so I was not going to make a video, but I was just sitting here looking at this broccolini that I was eating last Sunday, or whatever Sunday, I can't remember, I showed y'all. And, uh, you know what, I realized it is flowering and it's going to seed. So I'm like, mm, oops, never made broccolini, uh, grew broccolini before, but hey, we still learning. So I'm like, okay, so what mean, What it means when it goes to flower and goes to seed is technically, it's, it's stopped growing. It's past its growing um, point because it's gotten too hot. For broccolini, what I'm reading is maybe the soil was too so hot. But anyway, you can still eat this. So I'm like, okay, it's my birthday. Um, I'm gonna eat mother nature. I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna be out here in the sun as much as possible. I'm gonna eat myself, you know. Um, you know, it's all about being healthy, wealthy, and wise. So I'm pouring into myself today as I do every day, but I'm going extra hard today. And I'm on a um, detox 21 day journey with my beautiful community of women and some men. And this week is raw week. So I'm going to go in here and see what I can do with this broccolini. I can eat the entire plant. I'm told I'm eating. Um, I'm told based on what I'm reading. I just ate a flower. It tastes good. But look, this is how much I have. That's flowering. My son loves this, so I'm going to have to share this with him. So I got this, but I was like, you know what? I think I can eat the leaves, too. So I went on Handy Dandy YouTube, and guess what? You can eat the leaves, too. So, I'm just going to harvest these leaves. Boop. Leaf number one. Leaf number one. Leaf number two. And I'm going to eat this for breakfast, y'all, because I'm vegetarian now. And you know what we do? We eat whatever we want to eat, um, whenever we want to eat it. You know, there's no uh, thing as breakfast food, cereal, whatever. We we drink smoothies. We, uh, we juice. I'm probably going to juice some of these. We do whatever we want to do. And, um, and you should, too, with your garden. When you get your harvest, you eat whatever you want to eat when you want to eat it because that's what it's all about. It's about feeding yourself, going out there in your garden. Ooh, I got a lot of ideas here. Look, I got these onions. I'm sorry, I've got a one track mind. I'm just kind of really excited about this breakfast, birthday breakfast I'm going to do, lunch, dinner, whatever. And so I'm going to grab whatever I can. I got these onions I'm growing. And they're like real onions. But look, boop. What am I going to do? I'm going to put this in my, um, whatever I'm doing. And, you know, like I said, I'm eating raw this week, but I might saute a little bit of something, something, and then put a little bit of raw on top. But anyway, look. Mmm. Mmm. Green onion tops in my food. Whatever is in here is what I'm going to eat today. So, um, so I'm going to harvest some more leaves. Okay, so I got rid of all that broccolini. And now look, I got these. Can you see these? Oops, by the fall. I don't know if you can see, but I got some more growing. So anyway, I'm just going to talk to you a little bit more while I harvest some more of these leaves. And I'm going to see what else I got over here to eat. I know I got cilantro. I ate that last night. I made me a soul bowl, y'all. Um, I'm calling it a soul bowl. It is a soul bowl, clearly, in our community. Soul bowls are traditionally, in my family, have been like pinto beans, chitlins, gross. And um, coleslaw, hot sauce, stuff like that. But now that I am on a healthier path, I'm on this path of wellness, I, my soul bowl is whatever is from the garden, whatever is from the earth. So I have some leftover purple rice from my kids' dinner, takeout, long story. And I have some corn um, off the kernel that I cut off. I have some cherry tomatoes. I'll take a picture of it. I'll show y'all. I'll try to 
match it with this uh, video. I'm still learning how to do that. Um, and uh, I have avocado, put some um, salt and pepper, and some um, put salt and pepper and some uh, lime in it. And then I was like, okay, I want some flavor, so I made it like a jerk situation. So I sprinkled jerk seasoning on it and added some jerk sauce to it. <laughs> and uh, I had some um, lettuce. I don't know what it was. It was just a big bowl of goodness. I had that for dinner last night and I was so satisfied. Oh, sprouts. Yes, y'all get into the sprouts. Um, get in, not, well not sprouts, I'm sorry. Uh, microgreens. I gotta get my terminology together. Get into the microgreens. I did not grow these microgreens that I ate last night. I bought them from a store, but they were so good. Mm. So let's see what else we're gonna eat. I think I could put some beet leaves in this too. Why not? Okay. So here we're gonna go over here. Let me get my beet leaves. Boop, beet. Come on, baby. Beet leaves. Get in my belly baby beet leaves boop so we got baby beet leaves put that over there with my harvest y'all I need a bowl I ain't even prepared I, all, I got all out here and got excited and was like oh what can I eat and I had no bowl no nothing whatever um you know what it's gonna be so pretty if I do put it in a bowl. And look, I'm only at six minutes, 47 seconds with my whole video. So shh, my family might still be asleep because it is before 7 a.m. Let me see. Oh no. They up. They up, Never mind. And mama don't want to be bothered right now on her birthday morning. So I'm not going in there. <laughs> Isn't that a mess? Anyway, um, yeah, so I got these uh, leaves here. What else am I going to do? For my video go out or whatever. I got this cilantro. I pulled some cilantro in last night. What is this? I got some basil. Some of this stuff is small, but I'm still going to eat it. You know, I'm still going to eat it. This is mint. Mm. Maybe I'll make me a um, mint water situation later. Mm -hmm. Got a mint water situation, y'all. I showed y'all my um my uh, cucumbers ooh, slash uh, squash. I don't know which one is what it is, but anyway, I got so many flowers now. Oh my goodness! Look at all these flowers. Look at all these flowers that will become yummy dinner. Uh oh, somebody's knocking on the door. One of my children knocking on the door. <laughs> but anyway, okay, let's harvest some more things so you can at least see, you know, what you can put together and make you a meal, man. Eat from your gardens, man. And men and women, family, eat from your gardens. Gather it up. Gather it up. Eat it. Okay. I got more that I'm gonna harvest, but look, my video about to go out. I feel like my video's about to go out. So here we go. We got some of this. It's okay. I'm, I got some arugula too. Um, I think that's about it. So let me grab a few more leaves of um, broccolini because I might juice some and eat it. Okay, last little cut situation. This is my arugula. It's kind of tidy. Uh oh, it's something, it's something crawling. It's something jumping. I don't know, y'all. I love gardening, but the, everything that shows up when you garden, ooh, I'm, I'm, um, I am, um, I am, um, getting used to all those little things 
being my friends and not my enemies. Okay, hold on one second. So I'm actually, this is a baby plant, but shh, let me get all of her. A little baby plant, she'll grow back. Notice I said her, cause y'all, mother nature, come on. We're not gonna get into the divine female, male energy and all that. I'm not gonna preach to y'all today. There's some other people that, um, you know, focus on that, but she, this whole garden to me, she, her, you know, mother nature feeds me. So look, this is as much as I could get with one hand walking back and forth. Next time I'll have my bowl and all that. So I can, uh, I just want to get a few more beets. Beet leaves, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. 10 minutes, 59 seconds. Okay, beets and maybe one more onion. On your top. All right. Quick picture of the harvest. And um, I'm going to go see if anybody in this house wants to cook me anything for my, for my breakfast birthday with my harvest. Clearly they should, right? Mommies bring the uh, food home from the grocery store. Everybody want to come and uh, help mommy get stuff out of the grocery store? Well, hey, mommy's bringing the groceries out of the garden. Here we go. All right, guys. And women and men, family, everybody. Okay. Here we go. Cilantro. Broccolini leaves. Broccolini. These stems and some flowers. Stems. We're going to eat it anyway. Arugula beet leaves and onions so we'll see i'll show y'all what this is going to end up being um for me to eat but anyway i just wanted to share this with you on my birthday and just let you know how um amazing homecoming harvest is and how amazing you can be if you join us www.homecomingharvest.com homecomingharv1 the number one on twitter homecoming harvest on IG you'll also see me um, affiliated with soldiers of the soil that's also homecoming harvest we are the foot soldiers of the movement so get into it happy birthday to me family I've harvested my first I would say my first meal because again this is gonna get into something nice and lovely and yummy I'll send y'all a picture Hey, hey, full moon energy to today, okay? My birthday on a full moon. Mm. Okay. Very nice. Look at the sun. Oh, look at the sun. Oh my goodness. I listened to a song by Nina Simone. Here comes the sun almost every morning. So treasure the things that sustain your garden treasure water treasure sun treasure light treasure life okay I, this is not a preachy moment but i'm feeling good right now i'm feeling blessed i'm feeling grateful i'm thankful and i just wanted to share that with you thank you so much for being here with me listening to me and uh thank you for your the people in the future that will be watching this video on today may 26 2021